Hey friends, welcome back to Bloom with Ms. B. Today we're going over an introduction into elapsed time. Let's go ahead, get started. Okay, so there are a couple different ways that you're going to see elapsed time. Some might be on a clock like this one, some might be on a number line. I want to go over some of the most basic fundamental parts whenever we are working with time, because it is very common that we talk about time in increments of half hours, which is 30 minutes, or increments of 15, which are the four corners of our clock. So we're gonna be looking at the 12, the three, the six, and the nine. The distance from each one is going to be 15 minutes. The three to the six, that's 15 minutes. The six to the nine, that's 15 minutes. And the nine to the 12, 15 minutes. So this 12 in minutes is zero. But then when we jump forward 15 minutes, that three stands for 15 minutes. The six stands for 30 minutes, because if we have 15 and then add the 15 minute section, that makes 30. And when we add another 15 minutes to that, that nine stands for 45 minutes. And then after that, the next 15 minutes, we go back to zero because we add a one to the hour section. So whenever we are working with minutes, let's go ahead and think zero, 15, 30, 45, zero again. All right, let's go into an actual problem so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so our starting time is 1.15. I see my hour hand is pointed at the one and my minute hand is pointed at the three, which stands for 15. With this, I want to add 30 minutes. 30 minutes means I'm going to add two increments of 15. So if from the three to the six, that's 15, but I need one more 15 to make 30. So that means I'm going to land on this nine here. So my new minute hand is going to go basically all the way around until we're pointing to the nine. And with this, our hour hand would move over a little bit, but it would not be touching that two yet until that minute hand exactly touches 12. So our new time will be 1.45. If I want to just add 30 minutes like a normal math equation, I can do that, but I need to make sure that because I'm only adding 30 minutes, it needs to be on the right side of the equation. And now I can add like normal, unless my answer is greater than 60. Once the minutes get to 60, I need to add one to the hour section. So let's go and see what we got. I'm gonna do five plus zero, which is five. One plus three, which is four. I bring down decimals and I also bring down this one for my hour. So my new time is 145, just like we see on the clock over there. Let me show you what that looks like exactly, but on a number line. Okay, so most number lines, the hour is going to be on the longer line. So I see one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. And the little lines in between are going to be counting in those 15 minute increments. So I have 15, 30, 45, then the next hour. 15, 30, 45, and then the next hour. That's going to be how most number lines count. It's those increments of 15. So we're starting with 115. That means I'm going to put my little dot right on 115. And then I'm gonna jump forward 30 minutes. So I'm gonna jump 15, 30, where I land on 145. I keep that one there, 145. So that's what it looks like on a number line. Let's go ahead and do one more on the clock, one more on the number line. Okay, so my new time I wanna start with is 630. I'm gonna go ahead and draw it. So my hour hand is going to be actually a little bit past the six because we're halfway between the six and the seven, halfway around the clock. The minute hand for 6.30, the minute hand is going to be at the six. The minute hand is the longer hand. So now I want to add two hours and 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my 15 minutes first. So my minute hand is at the 30. I need to add 15 minutes. Remember, the most common, easy way that we're beginning to work with elapsed times is in 15 minute increments. So that means that we're going to move from the six to that 15 minute section right here to bring us to the nine. So our new minute hand will be on the nine, but I'm not done yet because I need to add those two hours, which are going to switch my hour hand. So from here, my little hand it is right in between that six and seven right here. I'm gonna jump one hour, jump two hours. So my new hour hand will be right here, meaning I can go and erase our original. So now our time, that hour hand is between the eight and the nine, but if it hasn't touched the nine yet, that means it goes back to the eight. 
In our minute hand, that nine minutes stand for 45. Let's go ahead and add that like a normal math problem to see if we get that. Remember, unless it hits 60, then we would need to add it over to the hour section. Let's go. I have zero plus five equals five, three plus one equals four. I bring that down. Six plus two equals eight. So we should have 845. And that's exactly what we have. Let me show you on a number line. Okay, our start time says 6.30, so I'm going to find my 6.30. Here we start. Now I'm gonna jump forward two hours and 15 minutes. So I'm gonna start with the 15 minutes and jump forward one. So I jump my 15 minutes, there we go. Don't forget the two hours. So from here, I'm gonna be jumping two full hours. So I'm jumping from 6.45 over to the next 45. That's gonna be one hour and then to the next 45, which is one hour. So that would mean I land here. I look back at my hour, so I have 8.45. So I'm gonna write eight right there. That should be our answer. So first we do the 15 minute increments by doing our baby 15 minute jump to the 45. From there, I needed to jump two full hours. So since I started on the 45, I'm gonna jump to the next 45. That's one hour. The second 45, that means I added two hours here. So our final time is 8.45. So I just added the eight in front of there so we can see our lapse time. Okay, another way that you might see elapsed time is by giving you a start and end time and you have to find out how many hours and minutes had passed. So my start time is five o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my starting point. And my end time is 8.15. So I have eight o'clock and 8.15 is going to be right here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and jump my hours. So I'm gonna jump one, two, three. So I've got one hour, one hour, one hour. So I've jumped three hours. And now how much more do I need to get to the 15? So I'm gonna look at my minutes and I just have to jump whoop, one little hop to get to my final spot. So I just jumped 15 minutes. So the total elapsed time is three hours and 15 minutes. Okay, so there's a quick intro to elapsed time. I will have a follow-up video over just more detailed adding and subtracting time and some word problems done, so stay tuned for that. But if you found this video helpful, please give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.